Hi everyone, Hassan here from Ref6. I uh, hope you're well. This season, I'm gonna be doing something slightly different to the norm and I'm gonna be vlogging my match day. So I'm gonna be giving you an insight into preparation that I do, um, my journey to the game, um, depending on the referees maybe, you know, insight into team talks and preparation when you get there as a team. Um, and then after a game, I'll be talking you through any incidents that happened in the game, um, you know, any mistakes maybe I've made, anything I did well, um, anything I've learned from the game. Um, and if games are filmed, maybe we can go through and show some of the incidents and talk through those on the vlog as well. Um, so yeah, this week um, I've got my second preseason game tomorrow. I've just moved from Sussex to Hampshire, so it's going to be a completely new season for me. I'm going to be going to new grounds, uh, new teams that I've never met before, new referees that I've never been out before. So it's going to be a complete new learning experience for me. So pretty excited, a bit nervous, but uh, hopefully it will go well. Um, my preparation for my game tomorrow hasn't been great, just for the fact that a few days ago, about five days ago, I was told to self-isolate. Luckily, it was only for those four or five days. Um, I've been testing myself every day, and luckily, I've not got COVID, so, but it meant that I haven't been able to go out for a run um, and do stuff that I would like to have done to prepare. What I did this morning, as you can see maybe here, is I did a little hit session with some battle ropes and just some basic kind of hit drills and stuff like that um, but yeah so nervous going into what will be my second game in Hampshire I did a line a couple of weeks ago um, really interesting game it ended up 6-4 I believe I gave two penalties as an assistant referee which in I think 200 games before as an assistant I think I may have only given two so given two in one game was very different yeah so hopefully you'll enjoy these videos that I'm going to be putting together um, and how about we just start with what I'm going to do in terms of preparing my kit I like to do it the day before and I'm a bit of a light packer. I don't like to have too many things in my bag. Just like to keep it basic, keep it simple. So what have we got here? So we've got um, a variety of things laid out. So I've got my kit, which as you'll see, still has my Sussex badge on. So that's something I'm gonna have to change um, when season really kicks off. Uh, I'm not the referee tomorrow, but I have my yellow and red cards. I've got my whistle. So I've got the Fox 40 Classic with a Famoa badge on it and um, what's really probably the most expensive purchase as a referee is the Molten Volcane, uh, which is like a 50 pound whistle. It's, I haven't actually used it yet, so we'll see if it's any good, but it's quite an extravagant purchase. Um, I've got my boots, I've got some Nike uh, Mercurials that I got about three years ago. They're pretty extravagant for a referee, to be honest. I get a lot of comments about these, so um, they're probably on their way out. Um, so I might get something a little bit more uh, down to earth I guess uh, for the season uh, when, I, when I get around to it. I also have these kind of jelly ankle soles that um, just help protect my, I used to get shin splints when I was younger so for some reason these 10 pound things actually work a treat. Got some socks, uh, I've got a warm up top uh, with a nice little Ref6 yellow on it so I like that. Um, got some lycras to go under my shorts, my shorts, obviously the proper referee shorts with the pockets on. Um, and a under top what for the match um, which almost certainly I won't be wearing tomorrow because it looks like it's going to be about 25, 26, 27 degrees so that's going to be fun so you'll see I haven't got my flags with me I left them at my, my parents house um, but luckily we're going out as a three tomorrow so I'm hoping the referee and the or the other assistant referee will bring them normally pretty much every time I've been out with a three everyone brings flags so should be okay um, but that's like one thing that's missing here and you'll probably also notice there's no watch uh, that's because I use my Apple watch obviously with ref6 so um, I need to just make sure that's on charge later on today the venue I'm going to is luckily only a mile and a half down the road so probably like need to leave five minutes before um, to get there so I'm you know easy um, and then yeah what else we've got uh, two teams, so we've got Stoneham, who are a West, Wessex League Prem division. They're playing um, Naphill, who are a combined counties football league uh, Prem division team as well. So it's pretty good standard. Um, the venue has, I've had a look already, and it has um, a grass pitch and a 3G pitch. So 
fingers crossed it's grass with the heat tomorrow on a 3G pitch is going to be hell it might be that so we'll see um, and yeah so I will let you know how I get on I'll give you some more insight as as I go through my day this is match day minus one so prepping the bag tonight to um, just ensure just to make sure I've got it all there uh, that I don't have to wash anything um, and that I'm not running around in the morning like a crazy person looking for stuff so that's me so one thing left to do this evening is to chuck my watch on charge ready for tomorrow good morning it is match day um, it's about 7 a.m. so I've got loads of time to kill, I've got a few chores to do so I get that all in before I need to get to the match. I'm um, going to be aiming to get to the venue around 2, so about an hour before kickoff. Obviously because of Covid restrictions and stuff like that, we just turn up basically in tracksuit or fully changed and you know no access really to changing rooms so um, yeah I'll get ready and be off. Um, probably only need to leave like five minutes before two just because it's really close. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna start my day off with some breakfast. All I'm gonna have is a little bit of porridge. Um, just got these quick Quaker sachets to make them super easy. So I'll mix this all up and then that'll fuel me for my start of the day. So here we go. Porridge made, bananas and some walnuts in there. And then just a simple black coffee, no milk, no sugar. So uh, this is my breakfast on match day. Bon appetit. So all ready for my game, about to set off. Got into my kind of training gear with my shorts and referee socks, etc. Um, <clears throat> last thing I'm going to do before I go is just to put the game into ref six so it's all ready for when I get there. Um, so just create the game, I've got the competition which is just a friendly, um, venue is Stoneham, it's a kickoff, it's at 3 o'clock, home team is AFC Stoneham, and we are against Nap Hill from the Cumberland Counties League. Don't know their shirt colours yet, so I'll do that when I get to the game on the watch. Um, normal kind of 11 aside, two halves, 45 minutes, 15 half time. Um, and that's it, all ready to go. Save that. And that is ready for me when I get to the game. I can just load it up onto my watch. The changing room action. Usable. Just got back from a game. Absolutely exhausted, but not really from, you know, the exercise. It was more than just the heat. I think it was 27, 28 degrees, but it ended up being a 3G pitch. So absolutely baking within four or five minutes. My feet just felt like hot water balloons like bursting they were so it was just so hot but um overall a really good game really fairly competed massive pitch so it meant there wasn't much in the way of you know tough challenges it was a lot of possession ball passing along the the back and and building out from the back for both teams so um quite a nice easy one there was a yellow card um for basically just a cynical trip and deserved to be a yellow card really um yeah, a few things I learned from the game. I need a, it's been a while since I've, you know, I've taken a year out because of COVID. So um, getting back to kind of reminding myself to delay the flag and and those kind of body um, signals with the referee and, you know, getting that back is going to take a bit of time to get my eye in. But uh, overall, you know, I only crossed once, which was good. Um, but overall, yeah, pretty happy with the game. So I've just loaded the game into ref six. Uh, as you see, it was 2-0 to the away team. 
Um, only did three and a half kilometers, which is really low for me. I'm quite surprised by that. But um, I think that's just to the style of play that both teams are playing. Um, very, very much possession-based football. Um, so yeah, and then you'll see the heart rate zones are pretty high. So I'm in the four and five, which shows that it was a real tough game for me in terms of physicality. And that was really just down to the, the sheer the heat and temperature. It was just so hot. Um, but overall, yeah, pleased with my performance. I did notice that there was a, a Veo um, recording the game. So I'm really hopeful that I can get the footage so that maybe we can do a little review of some of the major kind of incidents, a couple of offside uh, decisions and no decisions that I'd love to see back. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty happy. Uh, I'll now grab some food, um, probably some pasta, some tuna, something like that, and then um, relax for the rest of the evening. No game tomorrow, so tomorrow will be a recovery day, so I'll go out for either a, a small little run, or a long walk, or a, maybe a cycle, depending on uh, how I feel in the morning. So, um, But overall, positive second game on the line. Looking forward to my first middle. Haven't been appointed to one yet, so looking back forward to getting back out and behind the whistle. Hello, match day plus one, uh, recovery day, just did a small little 4K, um, really slow pace just to put some energy into my legs and, and recover. Um, feeling okay after yesterday, normally after a game on a 3G pitch, I'm a bit, I, I don't know, what, what do you think about 3G pitches? They normally hurt my knees, something normally just doesn't feel right the next day, but uh, today feeling okay. The worst thing, about 3G pitches is is just this. Look, look at all this rubbish that's coming out of the boots. They're so hard to clean now with all this stuff in there. But that's going to be my task for later. One thing I wanted to do on these vlogs is to do a little count of certain things that happen in the games uh, throughout the, the season. So um, the first one is match fees. So yesterday I had a £35 match fee. Um, and last week, which I didn't vlog, was a £30 match fee. So in this corner down here, I'm going to have a running tally of match fees throughout the season. So total 65 out of two games so far. And the other thing I wanted to do was talk about how many um, referees I meet on my travels who are using Ref6. So this week there was zero. The, the assistant and referee weren't using Ref6. But last week, both officials I was out with had Ref6. So in this corner, I'm going to do a little Ref6 user account on my journeys this year. Um, brilliant. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. The vlog. Um, and I've just been given a game for next week, my first middle. I'll be out on my own, so uh, I'll be vlogging that too. I'll see you next week.